Hey y'all. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jacinda. And I'm here with an explanation to why part one didn't upload. Um, I don't know why it didn't upload. So I guess that explains it. Not really. But I don't know why it didn't upload. But it didn't. And I was basically giving an update to little who is now six months old today is july 22nd he'll be seven months old in two days so he's pretty much basically seven months old now um when we last went to the doctors it was back in june it was back in june because he has another appointment in august so it was back in june and he was 18 pounds um, little is developing he's growing he's sitting up as you can see in part two he is sitting up he's alert he's grabbing things he's not quite holding his own bottle yet but he is considering the idea of holding his bottle so, so he's reaching for it but he's letting it go um, I have been propping it so that it can prompt him to grab it um, he's very much spoiled, so he's used to me holding it, and of course he's going to be spoiled. He's my first and only child. It, the only other sibling is his older sister. She is 13, so, you know, she's older, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, he's getting spoiled from every direction. She's He's like a doll to her, you know what I'm saying? Like, she loves, she loves this little kid. Like, they have a bond, and that's her baby this is her baby so you know she spoils him rotten whenever she comes over I spoil him rotten he's the last one my only child so he's gonna be spoiled rotten for me but anyway let me not ramble before this cuts off on me I don't know exactly how much time I'm gonna have before it does so I digress which I always do but let me bring it on back so Little is six months old. He's 18 pounds. He's sitting up. He's grabbing things. He's eating solids. He's eating foods. He's enjoying them very much. I might throw a short on to my um, channel so you guys can see if I didn't delete it, which I probably did, so I can make space so that I can explain this. And then once this goes up, hopefully it uploads because I'm going to have to delete this too so I can make other videos. My computer is broken, so I can't use my camera and upload things on my computer from my actual camera because it's broken. Um, don't know when I'm going to go get that fixed because your girl's money is not money in these days because I am part-time. You see, I'm in my natural hair. That's because I can afford it. I can upkeep it myself, and it's convenient. You know what I'm saying? And it looks good. So it looks done. You know what I'm saying? Tried a little color, doing something a little different. Um, now that I'm a mom, I'm stepping outside of my comfort zone, you know, and I'm doing different things. But anyway... Maybe I should move back because I'm not as big as I'm looking on this camera. Like, this camera got me looking super duper big. And I'm really not as big as I look. These boobs are just huge. Um, they they swelled up when I was breastfeeding and they never went back down. And yes, as y'all always probably know and can probably always tell, this girl ain't never dressed when she come on here. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm in the house. I'm never dressed in the house. Ever. And it's 90 degrees outside. So... No, I have no clothes on. But um, anyway, I digress. I always do this. Let me bring it on back again. Um, where did I lead off? Okay, so I said something about the bottles in part two. That's just because I'm gonna do. I want to do a video on things that I bought that I didn't need and things that I probably needed that I didn't buy. And one of the things was these Dr. Brown's bottles. They're great. They're great on gas. Like for the child, they're they're you know as far as the air system and the way that it works. Dr. Brown's bottles, two thumbs up. But um, washing out each <laughs> washing out each individual piece. The little green piece that's in the middle, having to take that apart, having to wash that out because I don't wash his bottles with my other dishes. I don't know why I don't do that, but I don't. I don't wash his bottles with my other dishes. It really kind of doesn't make sense because, anyway, I don't. 
I wash this bottle separately and to take every little piece apart and if you got four and five of them bottles that's four and five of them little pieces which turns into six and you know six and seven of them little pieces and stuff that you gotta you know take apart and everything like that from these bottles and it's like oh my goodness three bottles you gotta do six pieces so six you gotta do 12 little pieces 13 little pieces if you got seven bottles. like it's too much so that's the reason why i was like get you two solid bottles once they get old enough and they don't drink as they don't eat as much out the bottle when they get older past six months anyway because they're eating solid foods you know what i'm saying so you're using less formula you're making less bottles anyway you're still going to make that bottle just in case you know what i'm saying but it's going to be a little bit less because nine times out of ten your child's going to be full from the food but anyway that's why i was saying that because you really don't need that many you really don't um, except for when they are newborn. When they are newborn and you're fresh out the hospital and they're fresh home, yes, you do want a bunch of different ones be so you can interchange them and everything and, you know, make sure that you have, and especially if you're breastfeeding and stuff, you're going to be pumping into them bottles anyway. So you're going to have a bunch anyway. <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> so you're going to want those anyway. But as far as, um, as far as my bad job. I'm trying to be comfortable because, like I said, your girl don't feel good. So, I'm just trying to be as comfortable as I possibly can. Get this on out so y'all can have it, know what's going on. And, you know, don't have to be sitting there like, what the hell is this girl talking about? And this part two, where is part one? Part one never uploaded. It, I, I put it on there. It was processing and never finished processing and it never uploaded. So, backwards child washing the soap. Here I go. You know, y'all know me. Listen, I do it the best way I can. I'm like I said, I'm rambling again. Let me pull it back around. Okay. Um, his next appointment is going to be in August, like I said. I have to make that appointment. Actually, I need to be making it now towards the end of this month, which it is. It's the 22nd. So, I need to be trying to make that appointment now so I can see his pediatrician before she goes on vacation. So, you know, I'll be doing that soon with uh, probably Monday. That that probably be the perfect time to do it. In me too. Um, Little is now out of my bed. He's been out of my bed since about five months. He's been out of my bed since about five months. So that's recently. He recently got out of my bed. He's in his crib now. Um, I co-slept with him all the way up until now. And um, he is, like I said, he's now in his bed, which is still located in my room. And I think I'm going to keep him in my room until he's about a year old. And then I'll transition him into the nursery. Um, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? Um, not really much of anything else. Sorry, y'all, coffee has become, coffee is my best friend, honey. Like, coffee is not just for the morning. Coffee is for morning, noon, and night, even nighttime when I need just a little extra energy to give him his bottle, his bath, and give him dinner, and put him, I need some coffee, honey. Um, so what else? I think I told y'all that I'm working part-time now so I could be at home. Part-time stay-at-home mom. Part-time work. Um, I don't think it's really else anything much more that I need to tell y'all, but I am going to make another video of the things that I bought that I wish I didn't buy, like a wipe warmer. I never even put a wipe in the wipe warmer. The wipe warmer is just sitting there. It still got the um, little twist tie around the cord and everything, like wipe warmer mm -mm. the nursery he, i only use the nursery for the clothes for his clothes um the, like decorating the nursery and stuff he goes in there when i go in there to pick him out something to wear um that's it that he he, does, I've, he has never slept in a nursery not one when not one night not to say that y'all don't need a nursery not to say that but you know, a child needs their own space when they get older to have their own space. But when they're a newborn and they're in your room most of the time, he hasn't been, he hasn't girl by, he ain't been in that nursery. Um, not to say that you don't need one. You definitely need one because that's where all his clothes is. That's where all his toys are. That's where I basically store all his stuff. Like his nursery is his, is his storage area pretty much. Like his closet. That's pretty much what his nursery is. Um... Do, 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 do. I made mistakes in the beginning. Like I was, I like I gave him um, distilled water instead of nursery water or spring or spring water because you could use spring water too. But I gave him distilled water in the beginning. Like I made mistakes. Like, and I'm gonna think I'm gonna make a video on the things that I kind of 
drop the ball with. But you you learn. You live and you learn. I'm a first time mom. I was nervous about a lot of stuff. You live and you learn. And then I'll post a couple of my TikToks that I made from him being an um, infant and being in the hospital because I didn't post a lot of I, I didn't video I didn't record a lot of stuff while I was in the hospital. I was really going through a mental state and I really didn't think about picking up like I wanted to pick up the camera like I really did want to pick up the camera but the depression was there being in the hospital never staying in the hospital overnight before that depression was setting in um, my baby father was he was helpful in the way that he could be helpful but as a man he didn't know what to do you know what I'm saying in the situation so therefore he was really not helpful but he didn't mean to not be helpful if that make any sense like he just didn't know what to do he was going through his own mental breakdown because I wasn't home you know what I'm saying I'm not home to, to be with you I'm not home to cook clean go to work help you out with stuff you know what I'm saying like I'm not home period you don't have my essence there and so that kind of threw him off and he realized how much he loved me and missed me when I wasn't there um I'll give you guys a story of the labor and delivery, but I mean, I was in the hospital for three weeks before I had the baby, so it's not even like my order broke. I went in and this happened and a series of, of events just happened. I was in the hospital for a mean minute and then um, got induced on the 23rd and had him on the 24th at 2.24 in the morning. But, like I said, I'm going to upload some TikToks and stuff that I did. Because little quick stuff. And I don't be on Instagram like that. So, I don't have, you know, Instagram stories and stuff like that. But, anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. I'm sorry about part one, y'all. Thank you for so much love and all the views. Like, wow, I got 400 views on this on part two by itself. Like, that is amazing. So, um, I will let y'all see little, but he's asleep right now. He over there knocked out. So, you know forgive me like i said for part one i'll be back for um another update or things that i bought shouldn't have bought or whatever or even just a regular mom blog blog i don't know we'll figure it out but he down here sleeping honey you don't mess with a sleeping baby you relax and like i said i'm under the weather a little bit so i really need to relax and so i'm just gonna let him be but that's what happened and i will post again soon and i love you guys um like i said thank you so much for all the love and the response y'all still here you know after all this time and everything like that i really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart and i will see y'all in the next vlog bye